The Sims 4 just put out two brand new kits. We've got the Sims 4 Castle Estate Kit and the Sims 4 Goth Galore Kit. And both were actually voted into existence by the community via a massive community survey that happened like a little less than a year ago at this point. So today I want to build with the Castle Estate Kit and see it what it's actually like because I haven't looked at any of these items yet. I also do have a big surprise for you guys at the end if you do have a hard time building big castle shells. But before we check any of that out we're gonna have to build our shell and castles are some of the trickiest things to build in the sims 4 in my opinion just because they're you know big extravagant pieces of architecture so when building a castle i like to start off slow i'll normally go bit by bit starting off with the entry so like my door can be here we can have a balcony up above this is one of the new fences we actually got two new fences this one is obviously going to be for like the top of the buildings so i can use this one here for balconies. When you're doing it this way, you can even go ahead and add a door, like kind of do it section by section. And our swatches seem to be all fairly neutral. We've got some that look a little more beaten down. There are some darker swatches, which I cannot wait to use for like gothic castles, but I want to go lighter with this one today. We're building in Von Haunt Estate, which is located in Windenburg. So you can't actually live on this lot. They won't like let you change it, which is weird. But once I'm done this, I'll just save it and move it to a residential lot. I just think this lot is pretty. So maybe up top our balcony can even come out this way a little bit. We could even have like a tower right here or something. And I think I want this building to be fairly symmetrical, not perfect, but at least for like towers and things, maybe I'll carry them over to each side. I'm gonna extend this part over a little bit. Maybe we can build some more diagonal pieces here. And then over to this side, I was thinking about adding a bridge. Like once we raise this up on a foundation, Foundation. We can add one of the new archways and then I'll add another one in the back and then we can just add some stairs So it's gonna be going like through here. I think that could be a really cool feature We also got a new foundation paint and some new wallpaper. I am noticing this is a very exterior focused kit Yeah, we did not get a single thing for interiors I mean you could use this like crest for an interior maybe oh my gosh, this is actually so cool It's like a llama corbler <laughs> I love that. That is the Sims version of a gargoyle for sure. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna start bringing it upwards. We're gonna go fully like four floors with this. Maybe we'll do a bump out here. And then I might just start to kind of fill in the gaps. Like I'm using my custom room tool to section off these pieces here. Just kind of zooming out, bringing the wallpaper with me and filling in pieces. And you'll notice how I'm kind of neglecting the back right now. That kind of comes along with the whole like doing things in pieces or like sections. So like once we've got something where I'm content with the front, then I'll turn around and do the back. So like, I feel like this is looking pretty good. And then for the back, I'm gonna bring out a section like this. Maybe we bring out a couple more bump outs here. I'll do some here on the sides as well. So, so far with our wallpaper and our shell done, this is what we've got. Next, we're gonna go ahead and roof it, which I'm a little worried about. But first I'm gonna take a gabled roof and I'm gonna pull in the adjusters. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit and we'll pull that all the way to the back. And then on any of the the towers were like the octagon shapes that I made. I'm gonna add these rounded roof pieces and I'm gonna bring up the adjusters quite a bit. We're gonna copy and paste that so we get the same angle. So I think if we put them there, that'll look nice. Also like the background looks so pretty here. I wish you could live on this lot. Next, we're gonna take some half hipped roof pieces and those are gonna cover these parts here. So I'm just going to adjust. I'm gonna bring it in and then I'm gonna raise the angle up like quite a lot. We'll do the same thing on the other side. and then. I'm gonna be left with this weird gap here. The reason why I don't wanna bring that all the way across is because when I page down into my top floor, we're gonna have the roofing coming in and we don't want that. So instead, I'm gonna try and match this angle just using a gabled roof piece and we're going to pull that across instead. For some reason, that one doesn't come into the top of your room. The only problem is the angle here will not be perfect just because of how those hipped pieces are angled. So maybe we'll try and fake it by adding some big chimneys here. We'll just kind of stick them in those spots. If you can't beat them, join them, am I right? We could also potentially even use these. These are from Get Together. Those are giving castle a little bit. Or those even from my wedding stories. Okay, roofing is pretty much done, but I'm noticing we don't have any roof paint or roof trim. No roof pieces either. So far, my first impression is that this kit is a little bit empty. Maybe there's something I'm missing though, so I'm just gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Oh, we do have a very cool 
full trim though. That's pretty detailed looking. It goes around like taller wall heights. Oh, and there's also one for shorter wall heights. Okay, good. I am glad that we got two different variations of that. I have talked about this trick a million times on this channel before, but if you're trying to put trim onto areas where you have roofing, like right here, for example, it's not clicking on. What you can do is move the roofing over to the side and grab a smaller fence. There's a base game one you could use. I like to use this one here from Get to Work. And then you just trace with the fence where the roofing goes. This is gonna form a room and then you'll actually be able to add your trim onto there. Then you just put your roofing back where it was. And now you'll see the trim goes onto those roofing pieces where it didn't before. Before I add my windows, I wanna do like a bridge situation. So I'm gonna bring some fencing out this way. And whatever I do along the top there, I'm also gonna do along the bottom. I'm gonna wrap my fencing around this way and then I'm just wrapping it all the way over so we're gonna connect it onto that back balcony. I'm gonna delete the flooring that just happened in between. So now my bridge going around looks like this and we also did get some new columns. So I'm gonna add those anywhere that I think needs to be held up and I have this weird area like inside my bridge. I'm actually gonna turn this into a pool. So just using the custom pool tool and following along where I want to fill in and then we could add little fountains in here in live mode. They're gonna be jumping up. We could add some lily pads. I think this is looking pretty good so far. We still haven't even added windows or spandrels, so I'm gonna put those on here. They're going underneath my trim, so let me delete the trim for a sec. Oh, the spandrels are really pretty. They seem a little bit thin, like, like the texture of them or something feels a little thin. We're in desperate need of roof paint though. Let me see what we can do here. I guess I'll just use this scalloped one from base game. Okay, let's finally see what we have going on for windows. So there are different ones for every wall height, which is nice. I'm gonna put one of these ones maybe up top and let me see what kind of swatches we've got. We do have some stained glass options and I think you can kind of line up some of the different wall height ones so that they match on and look like they're all one big window. That looks pretty cool at the front actually. This is giving Sims medieval and now I'm getting ideas. I haven't not played that game in forever, but that's a classic. I'm telling you guys right now, this thing is gonna be all windows. This is the flooring that we got. It's just like a stone tile. Again, a lot of the swatches matching the wallpapers. It has little flowers and like grass in between the cracks. There also is a matching wallpaper that I discovered that has like the green and the flowers in between. I think that covers basically everything that comes with the new castle kit. So let me finish off the exterior and then we can go inside. All right, this is how the final build turned out. I made some adjustments to the swatches that I was using just to kind of like play around, see what it would look like with different ones. And I think it looks so pretty, especially on this lot. It could honestly replace the Von Haunt estate if it had to. Going along the back, I thought that since the Von Haunt estate can be a common wedding venue, I figured I would make my own small wedding venue back here. So I added a few chairs for my wedding stories. We've got the arch. Let me actually put this into live mode so we can see the fountain going. I added some champagne, the barrels. Going over to the back, we've got a piano back there. We also have a dance floor. There's even a bar hiding back there on the bridge. And up top, I just added some chess tables. We've got some benches. There's another bar up there as well. So a lot to do in this back area here. And I was thinking that for the actual sin that lives here, maybe they rent their place out for weddings or maybe they're a wedding planner. I'm not really sure yet. I'm also just gonna add one of these bathrooms, maybe like way back here in the corner. This way Sims won't have to go through the house if you don't want them to. But now that we've completed the interior, we're gonna go inside and this is not gonna focus obviously on the kit cause we didn't get anything for interiors. So I'm actually gonna section this part off and back here, this is going to be like a separate kitchen. There's a separate entrance back here. So if we had to hire somebody, that's where they could go. And then I'm hoping I can kind of like bring this down. Okay, there we go. And then I can put my stairs right here in the middle. So yeah, stairs will be leading up like that. This looks kind of like a spade. This layout looks really cool. And maybe on the second floor, we'll do two sets of stairs leading up. Then we can do another bathroom right here, maybe two more bedrooms to the side here. And then the top here, we can have one big bedroom. So I think I'm gonna start over here with a formal dining room. We'll get a big table. I might use this one here from Get Famous. And I was thinking about using some modern luxe chairs going around. We've got part of my railing sticking through. Love that. I guess I'll just try and cover that up with a curtain. And for that, I'm gonna be using these ones here from my wedding stories. But going back to my actual review of the kit, I definitely
definitely feel very underwhelmed. This kit is pretty much only meant for builders, just in the sense that it doesn't really provide any gameplay. It's basically just providing you with like a different aesthetic that you can build in. And obviously, if you're not the kind of person who likes to build castles, you're probably just not gonna want this kit. It is extremely specific, which I actually don't mind in kits. I kind of like the idea that they're dealing with like specific styles for kits that like maybe you wouldn't necessarily see in an entire pack. And to be fair, there's not really anything wrong with the items in this kit. For me, I guess it was just a little bit underwhelming. So we got a bar in here, a dining table. I'm adding on some candles here from my wedding stories. And I've added VIP buckets like all over the place. They give off a romantic aura. So like they're perfect for wedding venues. So this is going to be our formal dining room complete with a bar. I actually really like how the windows look on the interior. I'm gonna actually start bringing in some of the columns. I'm gonna do a decor to the max table in the middle. I think I'm using modern luxe chairs with a dream home decorator couch. And I feel like we need some more greenery happening. I'm gonna put these over top of the curtains that I've been using. These My Wedding Stories plants are always so massive. <laughs> I think they look pretty. I just like can never find the right spot to use them. Over top of here, we could use the decor to the max lamp. We could use this My Wedding Stories wall decal on here. I kind of want to add a really weird room to this build too. Maybe we could do like a karaoke room. I played The Sims 3 recently and there was a lot of karaoke involved. So now I want to build just like a little karaoke room. I might actually add a piano right here at the front with like a dance floor right underneath just in case it rains. Then this way we have options. And I think I'll add a chandelier when you walk in here as well. I'm gonna try and add a bunch of mirrors in here just in case your sims are getting ready. Plus I feel like these ones match like the luxury style I'm going for. We can even bring in some knights. Like I feel like knights could have been a fun feature for the new kit or even something that could have gone in the courtyard. Like it could still be an outdoor focused kit with like some courtyard items mixed in. I also want this to be super expensive so I'm adding in some expensive art and actually we'll toss some seating in here too. I'm combining some of the My Wedding Stories items with modern luxe. Maybe this would be kind of weird for your actual house unless you really like champagne and like throwing yourselves parties with fountains full of gravy. I'm not gonna judge. That actually sounds like a pretty great time. All right, so here is our living room. I added a little bit more seating in here just in case more Sims wanted to sit down. To this side, we have our gravy fountain. There's also some champagne over here. And I thought the purse clutter and makeup reminded me of like a bridal party getting ready. So I added little things like that scattered around. Same as over here, I added like shoe boxes. We've got a record player for some music. And next we're gonna do the kitchen. And for this kitchen, this is going to be meant to cater like a big group of people. So it might end up looking like a little bit more of a commercial kitchen. Like we'll have counters over here, but maybe this could be a dishwashing station. So we'll have two dishwashers and a sink. The counters and cabinets that I'm using are from Home Chef Hustle. And there's actually also some dish clutter we could use here too. And then I was thinking we could put our fridges over here and we'll add two, maybe a trash can beside them. And then I can bring some counters into the middle. And then instead of like two of these, we could do two ovens. So they're just gonna be attached onto the island like that. And then over here, we could still bring like an entire counter along this wall. Oh, this wallpaper but flipped looks way better. And then maybe we could do like a barrel over here. And this is where we could bring in all of our champagne. We could add the base game wine racks and also maybe some coffee and tea. I love this flower so much from base game. I just wish when you change the swatches that you could change the purpleness of the flowers. Also, did did you guys know that these plates stack from Home Chef Hustle? I did not know that. You could literally stack them as many times as you want, I think. Wait, how much can you stack them? I must find out. Wait, <laughs> how did I not know this? I've never seen anyone do this before. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. I could make my stack of plates taller than this castle probably. Is there just no limit? Hub check group exceeds limits. Okay, so basically you can make it that tall, which is like almost three stories high worth of plates. Well, I'm glad we figured that out. All right, so this is going to be our kitchen. This is huge. There's definitely enough room in here to cater at least enough people for the wedding. We've got two ovens, two sinks, two dishwashers, two fridges. We've got coffee and tea with the separate entrance. And now we're ready to go upstairs. So I think this might be where I want to build my carry 
karaoke lounge. I think I want to use my same Modern Lux wallpaper, but in black. I'm going to have to delete this window and the karaoke will just go right here. Then maybe I can add some chairs here from Dream Home Decorator with like a rug, maybe another microphone, like just for fun. And maybe I'll bring some of the spandrels in here. It can be like castle karaoke. <laughs> maybe we can add some of the paranormal pictures in here. We are building on Von Hunt estate grounds after all. We could add the vintage glamour bar up here. This can be just like a whole music themed room. We'll add the violin. I wonder how expensive this place will be. Our lot value right now is at 253. So not as pricey as I thought, but we're definitely getting up there. All right. So we've got our fun little karaoke room with a mini bar, a bunch of instruments. I didn't want to add too much in here because I want to make sure Sims can still like walk around and like get over there. But next, I think we're going to take care of one of the bathrooms. When I was touring all of your builds for like the room build that we did recently, I saw people using the high school years wallpaper for their bathrooms and it looked really good. So I think I'm going to bring that into this build today. Maybe we'll bring in some marble flooring, just make it nice and expensive. I actually might bring this back a little bit just so I have more room coming up through my hallway. So I think for in here, I want to bring in the realm of magic shower. And I actually think I might bring in some of the home chef hustle counters for my sink. I also saw people doing this in that build that I'm referring to, which I'll link down below, by the way, I got so inspired by seeing all of the different builds. So I deleted the windows there and replaced them with a mirror. And then over to this side, this is where we can put our toilet. We can do some white robes on this side, some flowers in here, and maybe the vintage glamour tray with all of the perfumes and candles and stuff. So this is going to be our first bathroom. I'm kind of liking the darker vibe of this floor compared to the other one. I think we're going to end up having three bedrooms upstairs. So downstairs, let's maybe do like a library. This time I'm going to be using vintage glamour paneling, maybe with some book nook kit shelves. And I kind of want to make this room cozy. Like I'm going to bring in the book nook kit couch, maybe with the matching chair. Like we can put it over along this side. And I really wanted to put a desk too. It actually might just have to be one of these smaller ones. I love the contrast between these two rooms right now. We've got like library study area over here and karaoke on the other side. I was going to put archways here, but I figured having doors would at least keep the music out a little bit in here. There, this can be our library slash office. Maybe if Sims needed to come and do some work while they're at the wedding. How did we fix this railing glitch and now it's back again? It was fixed for like maybe a little while, but now even with like newer kits, we're getting the railing issue. I'm confused. Okay, let's start to do a couple bedrooms up here. These ones are obviously going to be guest bedrooms. So I don't want to spend too much time on these ones. I really want to go up and do the honeymoon suite. So for this one, I'm using the Modern Lux bed with some four rent tables. I really want to use this mirror in here, I think. Or actually also there's this one. This one is from Get Famous. I feel like that mirror is just so pretty. I want to add some clothing racks in here. So I'm going to use these from high school years. I hate how you can only use like certain clothes in those though. Like I can only use the one from high school years. We'll add some more of the My Wedding Stories flowers. I wasn't quite sure what kind of vibe I wanted to go for once I got my hands on this pack, but a wedding venue with it is just so like magical. And then on this wall, I'm going to add a TV. I think I'm going to give them both a TV with an end table. And should I add like an in-room bar? This wedding is going to be crazy, but it actually makes sense if you're getting ready for a wedding. So here is our bedroom. I love the colors in here and the fairy lights. I wish I could have hung up some dresses or something. I've also gone ahead and done another bathroom in here, which is super similar to the other one, just with like a lighter, more beige color scheme. There's again, some bathroom clutter on there and I used Realm of Magic plumbing. I also finished off the bedroom on this side just so I could go upstairs and do the main suite. But this one is very similar to the other one. I also included the glow bar. There's some more like makeup clutter and jewelry in here. Just going off of like the getting ready idea. This right here is actually a frame TV from Modern Lux. And I gave them a vanity over here for getting ready. Okay, let's go up and do the final room. Obviously up here is going to be all white. For the bed, I feel like we have to do the best one in the game. So it's going to be this one from Get Famous. I feel like another idea for the castle kit could have potentially been like full of really expensive items. I think I might use the vampires dresser. And also over here, since I have the room, I might make a bathroom upstairs for them. I've also blogged off at the bottom of the stairs. This is not an ideal situation, but I added a little hallway here with a door so that no one can get up here if they weren't invited. We'll give them super nice bathroom stuff. It's 
it's more so like this stuff I'm talking about. Like if they could have done something similar to this vibe for like the castle kit, like that could have worked. So in here, we've got our shower, the toilet over here and our sink. I want to add like flower petals around here. Like I could use this rug here from my wedding stories and put it under the bed. We'll add a big couch up here, a vanity with this cute little chair. And there we have a wedding suite for our couple. This is definitely an interesting build. It didn't really go the way that I planned because I was kind of hoping to have at least something to work with on the interior. Overall, I like the castle kit. Can you build a castle with it? Yes, absolutely. Is it super exciting to me and something that I can't wait to use or will use often? Probably not. Let me know what your thoughts are. And before I finish this, I need to show you guys something. I'm gonna put this on the gallery. It's basically just an empty shell that you can use if you did get the castle kit. I built this while I was prepping for the castle kit. I was kind of just like trying to see what I could do. And this is what I ended up with is a massive like empty shell that I'm gonna put on the gallery if you wanna use it and turn it into your own castle. It ended up way too big for like what I wanted to do for this video today. This is on a 64 by 64 lot. Like it is massive. <laughs> I posted it on Twitter and a lot of you guys wanted the empty shell. So I'm just gonna post it. And if you wanna download it and use it for something, then there you go. So I hope you guys liked this video today. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.